Hey guys, Martin here from Sears Electronics, and today I'm going to introduce you the CS840Q server. Uh, in other words, it's the Q server, it's the DINRAIL version, basically um, it's the, almost the same exact thing as uh, normal uh, Q server Pro, which is a CS800, uh, but this one comes in a much smaller uh, footprint, much smaller size, and everything is pretty much hardwired onto the, the device, so you got all your DMX in and out, uh, your ports and everything is hardwired except for your RJ45 or your Ethernet connection, that has a regular uh, connection there. So um, basically, the cool thing about this uh, DIN rail uh, system is that you you just uh, hook it up uh, on a on a 35 millimeter DIN rail that could be mounted on a wall, and it'll just uh, stay on the wall. So it's perfect for architectural installations. As you can see here, you got your uh, your your uh, connection, your clip connectors that go for the for the DIN rail. So this you could just mount it on the wall, and um, once it's mounted on the wall, uh, you could connect and move everything from there. Um, so you got your regular eight buttons on the front, which are your function buttons that most Q servers come with. And uh, these buttons, you could use them to assign to set up different queues and stuff like that. So for example, here I got a very simple program that I programmed um, and you can change all the different colors. And you know, and also the cool thing about this uh, Q server is that it does do um, uh, DMX streaming. Like uh, some other uh, Q server versions, the smaller ones, they don't have the streaming available, but this one does. You could even do MIDI uh, through it, but you have to hardwire the MIDI uh, 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 pin out onto the device itself because it doesn't have connectors. And the reason why it doesn't have connectors and mostly just hardwire uh, block connectors is because of, uh, of, um, of the space restrictions. So they try to make it so small, that's the main reason why. So remember, it's got all the same features as the CS800, which is a Q Server Pro, except that it's smaller. Everything is hardwired, but you can still use all your uh, Q stations, uh, such as, and also your, your uh, Q Station Hub to, to use the button pads and all that to trigger all your effects. It's compatible with all that stuff. So, like I said, smaller footprint, um, you know, smaller design, wall mounted design but same great features as a regular uh, Q server. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, ideas, anything like that, go ahead and drop us a comment there in the YouTube comment box. Check out our website at seriesashi.com and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey, I almost forgot. If you guys are looking for a video that has to do with the setup of the Q server, it's a small, quick, basic how-to and basic functions, uh, button triggers and stuff like that, uh, check out the link over here. And uh, there's a video that I made previously that's a walkthrough um, with screenshots and all that stuff of how to set up uh, your Q server. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks.